Hi right, guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have something interesting and I got it for the cheapest price you can probably get it in the market, brand new. Um, I'll unveil it now. It's a mobile phone gimbal. Now this has been, as you can see from the box itself, it's come from Amazon. I always seem to buy my stuff from Amazon. So I'll show you what I've got. Uh, the brand itself, well this is a um, there we go. Handheld gimbal for smartphone. Now the brand is Faceva. F A C E V E R. If you can't see on the thing there, Faceva is made for iOS um, and Android as well, which is quite good. Um, it needs an app, which I will show you how we download from. Now, I'm going to open this up first. I'll do the unboxing of it so you can see what's in it. So simple, open this up, it's down, pull it out. I mean, it's not a very well brand or well known brand, um, but it's got all the stuff that you need. It's got the horizontal portrait mode, panoramic mode, face tracking, object. Okay, adjustable arm, so that's good. Time lapse, it's got up to 12 hours runtime, manual zoom, real time charging as well. I mean, that's the basic stuff that you really need for any gimbal. Um, now, the best bit is I actually got this for £32 on Amazon. Um, I, I've been looking for one for some time, I did buy one from Amazon last time. I think it's a warehouse deal or something which wasn't good at all. It didn't even work after you return it. So this is a brand new one. Um, three axis gimbal stabilizer as they're known on here. Uh, the manual itself is very basic. Only thing I looked at was to see what app it needs. Um, I had to scan the barcode here uh, and that allowed me to download the app. Now the app itself didn't get a high rating on it, which I was quite surprised about. But either way, I need something that to basically works. Um, and this one seems to be the one that's for the right price I've got. Now I'll put on my channel exactly the full detail of the gimbal, how it's made and what sort of material it's made out of. But as you can see, it's just simple, simple buttons on the front. I've never actually had one, so this is the first time you're opening up. So bear with me for a second to basically give you all the tour around what's it's doing what. So there's a camera button there it looks like power mode, mode of choice and here if you open this up it shows you the charger which is not the USB type C, it's the one before that's the simple mini USB ones here and also you've got the USB which should connect to your phone to keep the phone charged. Now it does have a 12 hour battery which I thought was quite impressive um, but now holding it is very light uh, I must say it's very light and I'll put the details of how much it weighs uh, on the dis description as well. Um, now, the way it works, I don't even know, to be honest with you, as I said, it's the first time I'm unboxing it to show you guys. It comes with a little string to hold it. I think it's gone underneath it somewhere, maybe. Here it goes, just there, which is not needed right now. And also, the best thing I think it also has is this. This will keep your gimbal or stabilizer upright you can use it little stand which I it did not say on the description of the when I bought it they will come with it and I was quite chuffed that it actually came with it because I did need one so I can actually rest it somewhere I'll move this out of the way because it's not needed anymore so it just stands up just like that so there you go the gimbal point to see the button oh, of course it comes with the usual small very well it's not really that long is it the charger which I've had it I think it's got a charge on it now so that's... all right the software they're asking me to download is called gimbal pro and I'll show you this on the screen I don't know if you can see it closely enough just in case you can't see it I'll get a bit closer okay 
The rating is quite bad on this, it looks like it's 2.8. But we'll try it, see if it works. As long as it works for me, it's fine, because I'm not willing to spend hundreds of pounds on a gimbal, which I, you know, it's fine. So, um, weigh the instruction as follows. Uh, press the power button for three or four seconds. Stabilizer should power on. Turn on Bluetooth on your smartphone setting. So I'm going to get my Bluetooth turned on. Okay. Um, after Bluetooth is connected between the smartphone and stabilizer, you can start taking photos and record videos. So quite simple, simple instruction. So let's give it a go. So first thing, as I said. Hold the power button for three to four seconds. One, two, three. Power on. Scan for Bluetooth. So you can see the little flashing blue light there. And this is where I can have a problem if you don't find it. Turn on the Bluetooth on your smartphone. Setting menu after the boot is connected between smartphone and so forth. So come on, I can't see anyway. Would have helped if I bring it closer. Oh yeah, okay, let's see. Oh, it's working. Oh, it's connected. Oh, it's connected. Available. So stable is right there. So now that it's connected. Um, I need to now, what's next then? Uh, after Bluetooth is connected between the smartphone and stuff, you can start taking it So I should have actually put this in there. So what I'll do now, I'll turn it off for a second. Okay, I've turned it off, which shows a bit wobbly. I'll worry for a second. All right, now here we go. Now this is, I did email them on there to say, would it work with it? I've got the um, Samsung Note. 9. They said it does work with Note 9, so I'm going to see if it works with Note 9. Let's get rid of this for a second. I don't need that, so I'll put it close to the edge. Let's actually open it and it fits in alright. Get rid of that. So let's get this back on here. Bluetooth. So I'm just going to Bluetooth on my Bluetooth settings there. So here we go. So it's not quite ready yet, so let's see now. I was going to throw my phone out completely. Let's turn it on. Turn it on. One, two, three. Turn it on. There's a little blue light, I'm hoping it's going to work, so. Let's do it again. One, two, three. Green light flashed, blue light's flashing. Table is connected. All right, here we go. Alright, after my set, after half an hour of trying it out, I've tried it with a smaller phone which seems to work much better. Now, Note 9 is slightly heavier phone and I had to literally adjust this bit here to extend it out slightly and give it a balance. Now, I've just sort of tested a few things out on here. Now, app itself is okay, it's very basic. Um, now, as you can see, it's sort of working just right. I'm turning it, it's a, it's a face recognition thing which just sort of follows you around which is what I really need it for when I'm doing my video so I can just leave it like this and um, I can move around and you'll fully follow me around, that's the plan so I'm going to try something now, I'm going to get rid of this to standard view so watch each of these buttons do so you've got here this button here if you notice it will move up and down so if I look at that way it moves up, it moves down Okay, uh, you've got different modes. Now one thing I haven't managed to get working yet is this button here to record. Now I suppose there's a button at the bottom to then take a picture. Oh, that's the what does the recording. So that was the recording by the red thing. So it's recording now. And yeah, it's not bad, it's not bad. So if I'm running, I'm just 
moving up. Uh, it's telling me it's recording. It's smooth, it's not bad. So if I can pan. But um, if I was to push it down completely, you'll see what it does. So you can see the table off of the phone there as well. So for example, now, not too much maybe. You can see that. So while well, there, it's a bit jittery. So I don't know how it will come out when I'm recording. It's recording it right now. So I'll show you why I'm recording poorly on the video. So you can adjust it with this. Now there's a little button here to follow, object to follow, I think that's what it is, so that's an object, uh, object tracking turned on, and I should, it's trying it, let's try a bit higher up, I'm going to have to have some people around here just to see if it works, well it's trying it but it's not doing as good job at all, so what would I say about this? It's recording. On the setting, I'll stop recording now. That stopped. On the setting here, got gimbal. I've got everything set to fast. Um, so let's put it down. And camera setting, this is what it's got on there. Camera. Um, there's not much there. Panoramic quality. Panoramic quality, I want to be the best anyway. High. So that's fine. Done. We've got the camera and the video there. So most of these are going to be videos anyway. That's the whole purpose you have this gimbal. Um, this one here, I'll put on. Oh, there's a walk mode. That's probably why it didn't work. So that's why the mode is there. Uh, follow all, that's correct. So, I don't know if you can see on there. Follow all. Um, I'll do sports mode. So, I should be think should be a bit more faster now. So, come back out there. So, I've got a little face thing drawn over there. I'm hoping it's going to follow the face. So, everything moves slowly. So, okay, so what I'm going to do now, we we'll change it to face recognition. Then I'm going to put it towards that way and raise it up so you recognize me where I'm going to be standing. I'm going to stand up over there to see if you're following me about. So I've got the face there. If I move. Oh, it's following. Look, look. Can you see it? This is exactly what I needed for so I can demonstrate to you. Oh, stop there for a second. Is it going to catch up to me? Okay, move left. He's following me. That's brilliant. That's exactly what I needed for, to be honest with you. So for a heavier camera, if I turn around completely, I'm going to go down. Oopsie. And this way it got lost, I think. Put my face back on there again. Down. Well, that's the best you could do. I think I was probably too close there. So I would have to say face recognition, but it's not bad. For a 32 pound guys, I mean this is the um, best as you're going to get and um, I like the fact that originally it did say it didn't have any stand on there but it's got a stand there which is nice. The um, rest of it basically you could spend 100, 200, 300 much as you want to get a brilliant gimbal. So um, if I've, I've never used a top of the range one to just give you, you know, a scale of how good this is. For 32 pound, for what I needed for, I think you'll just about do the job. Um, if you ask the rate out of five, I'll probably give it about two, two and a half, maybe three, if it does do the job properly. So what I'll do, um, I've shown you all the buttons that there is, and when the time comes, um, I mean it's not bad, actually, sports mode is much better, it seems to be much more fluid. Um, okay, I'll try it for a few days, and if I, I'll put, I'll do it, I'll try it for a few days, and see how I like it and I put the video up as soon as I can uh, and then I put a comment underneath to see if anything's changed since I've had it so I'll give it time I'll use it first then I'll review it a bit more by word um, on the uh, YouTube so yes thank you for watching and I hope this shows you you know you can get cheap stuff still make it work um, you know we are 
some people can't afford most expensive one but this is the best that I can get for the value for money so for value for money I'll do I'll rate it quite nicely and it is nice looking to be honest with you I mean it's got everything that you want it's very light it's very well made I could tell but it's just the quality of what you're getting for the money um, could have been a bit better the app could have been a bit better I mean when it when it follows I mean if I'm joking or something, this is not bad, look, it's stuck to, um, it's got the indicators, now if this goes red, it shows it's not stabilised at all, it's a having problem, a heavier phone, you'll have a problem with the lighter phone, I've got on a 7, I think, that's my boy's got, tried it with this, it worked really well, I had to even take the kiss off to keep it, you know, make it a bit lighter, um, so, out of 5, as I said, I'll probably give about maximum 3, if it works well, but I will up, keep you updated on this, so thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this, I mean, Everyone's looking for some good quality value for money stuff and I think this is still value for money for £32 you can't really go wrong on Amazon. Alright, just a quick update on this. Um, I've just did a face recognition uh, follow through so it was quite good actually. I mean if you can imagine this in my hand, it's followed it nicely. When I stop, I suddenly turn, it doesn't follow as good. It's slow but it's good. So I'll probably rate it a bit higher than 3.5 to 4 maybe on this. So this is just a quick update, I've just tried a few things on it. And um, and got object tracker as well, which works a similar way. But once again, if you do a sudden move, it won't catch up to you. If you go away too quickly, then it won't catch up to you. But it's fine. Um, as I said, it's a heavier phone. You'll have problem with Note 9. I'm just barely managing to keep it up. Um, it's still showing green on here. So this is an update just to show you that it does work. And I probably would rate a bit higher than what I've given um, overall. Is something extra than a phone to hold on to, so this is double the weight of what it is on the phone if you're just holding the phone. But what I like about it is, if I'm working outside and doing some videoing, I can put it on a tripod or something, and hopefully, when it sees my face, it'll follow it around and show them what I'm doing. Last of all, just one more comment to make on this it's the fact that my Note 9 has got a little pencil thing that I can use uh, for recording and stuff, as you can see here. Only thing I would say is um, quite annoyed the fact that normally I would record everything with this. So if I'm doing a recording, I just press the button, record, and stop. I so wish, I so wish that it, it, it did that. But in this case, when I press it to record, so as I was saying, basically um, this pen, if this was usable, that's so I could leave it quite far away or something, and use the pen to record. Over the next thing, if they did that, some sort of remote, so I can do it from far away, and not having to come close and press a record and walk away. And show myself but anyway he could still work with it so for the price as I said it's perfect so that um, two things I want to show you is to show you how it follows you around and this is one of the main thing I really need it for so I'll select feature so now let's see how it works so I'm going to record it at the same time so let's get the video I'll show you how good that recording is as well so.
let's do, and let's do the test. <laughs> 